Hi, my name is Mr. Cody Blair, and we'll be making a paracord belt. First, you're going to need about 100 feet for about 44 inches. I got a swivel hook snap and a D-ring to start off with. It's one D-ring. Both of these are three-fourths. This one's three-fourths. And the hardest part is getting this unraveled. Make sure all the knots are undone. Make sure it's all undone all the way 100 feet. Now, the other hardest part is finding halfway. So what I do, pull this all up. Now that you have it all undone, grab both ends and just wind it and see how far you can get going. Throw that over the edge. Now you have 50 feet on each side. What you're gonna have at the end is this right here, the divider in between two 50s. First thing you're gonna do is grab your three four swivel hook and put it through like a cow hitch knot. So you're going to put it through this loop, through there, and then open the loop up, and then pull this all the way through. Now way you're locking down your 50 feet. Pull all of it through again. Very easy to lose track of what you're doing, so just be careful. All right. And I see you have that on one side. Has that cow hitch. You have all this extra cord here. Now, what you want to do is you want to find the approximate size of the belt you want to make, which is going to be about 44 inches on this one. This is about how long I want it right here at the end. So this is where I want it, approximately. Grab that D-ring that I showed you earlier, 3 4 inch. And you also want to do the same exact thing you did with the other side with the D-ring. So you're going to pull these, put it in half like that, push it through and just pull through all the way, making sure you don't get the sides mixed up. Okay, like I said, now that you have your approximate belt, you want to grab something so you can tie it down. Here, I'm going to twist tie it off. That way I don't lose my spot. I'm going to bring it back, all the way back to the front. Just like I did with my power core bracelets. Now, once you bring these two strands all the way to the front, do this. So you have the cow hitch, and then the two strands you just pulled through that loop and back. Twist tied, you're going to pull it back through again. So you're going to pull it through this loop. So you're going to have it like this, and just pull it straight through to the side. Like I said, it's really easy to get confused on which strands are which. All the same color. All right, so for this part, of course, you're going to have your cow hitch one side, you're going to pull the other sides through to the front of the cow hitch. You're going to have six strands now. You're going to have two outers and then these two inners. So I'm going to count these as one strand. You're going to have the, of course, the left here in my left hand and the right here. So what you want to do, you want to bring this the left cord over the two the left strands. You want to bring it under the second strand, which is your right, under. And then you want to run your right strand under that left strand, over the right, under the left, and then through that hole we originally had on this side to the front. So you're going to pull this side through. And this will make your first strand. And this is always the hardest of making anything, is the first strand. Don't get frustrated if you don't get it on the first try. And then basically you'll know you got right once it looks like a mess and a pencil. Somewhere in between that. So here's your first strand. Your first knot. It looks somewhat like that. So I cinch it up. That's about it for your first strand. So for your second stitch, so the right strand's going to go under the right strands, over the left. This left strand's going to go over the right, under the left two strands, over the right two, through the loop to the back. Now, again, it looks like a pretzel. You cinch it up to the side, to the side. Those two were the first hardest, but now all you have to do is two stitches, and they're going to be the same exact. So, this, of course, left strands are going to go over, under. The second strand is going to go under the left, over the right two strands under the left, through the back, and then to the front. 
And then the second stitch is going to be the exact opposite. So just make sure you get a nice good stitch every time. Pull it up, make sure you don't have any gaps. So this left strand is going to go under the right strands, over the left. This left strand is going to go over the right, under the left two strands, over the right two, through the loop, to the back. And then again, pretzel. So I'll go over that one more time. So remember, the first stitch is going to be over always. So over the first two strands, see? So I'm going to go over, under the second two. This right strand is going to go under the left, over the right, under the left, and then through that loop to the front. All right, now we're on the second step again. So the second step is always going to be under the first one, under the first right, over the left, the left's going to go over the right, and then under the left, two strands, over the right, two strands, through this loop, to the back. Okay, and cinch it up again. And just one last time, I'll run it through again. Always after every stitch, just grab in between two of these. Just pull as hard as you can just to make sure that's good. And I'll give it a nice wide feel to it. Again, the left strand goes always over the first two left strands. So left goes over and then it goes under the right two strands. So over, under, and then the right will go under, over, and then under. And then through that loop to the front. So you want to cinch it up again. Grab these two middle strands and just cinch it up. And now we're on the second step again. So you're going to always go under, under the right strands, over the left, and then again with the left strand you go over the right, under the left two strands, over the right two strands, through this loop to the back. Now I'm just going to keep repeating this over the left strands, under the right, through the loop to the back for the first strand, and then of course the under, over, under method basically back and forth, back and forth, back and forth until you get a belt. Alright, since these D's won't fit in for the buckles so they can you can adjust them at different lengths. I'm gonna actually weave them in. The last pair just fit in each other, these ones won't, so take a pair of pliers, prime hard enough just to get the strands through. And once you get the strands through, I'll just bend them back together. So I'll just go about right there. Get all these strands through and then put pinch it back together and do that for all three of these. Or I'm gonna do like three or four of them. That way you have different uh, sizes you can buckle to. Alright, now that they're all on, you just want to make sure that when you do them, make sure they're facing all the same way. So this really doesn't matter because it's a swivel hook, so just make sure that on this end, it's all facing the same way. So I'll just do the first one. Now I'll just weave it like it was a regular weave. Okay, for these D-rings, you just want to go over the left strands under the right and let this right strand go under the left strand over the right and under the left and then through the loop to the front and cinch it up like it was a regular braid and there you have your first one just keep continuing the braid I'll be doing one of these probably every inch and a half that way it allows for adjustment later on if uh, 
your waist size changes and just keep continuing. I'll do one more stitch here and I'll do another loop. Okay, I'm going to do another D ring and again I'm going to show you. Slide it down, make sure it's facing the same exact way as the other one. Over, under, pull through. And you're going to go under, over, under, through the back to the front and tighten up. And continue the second step, which is it's going to be under the first right strands, over the left. The sanding strands going to go over, under, over, through the loop to the back. Pull it tight. I'm going to keep doing this evenly until I finish the braid. So I'm going to do the same exact spacing as the last one. So I got one, two, three, four full braids in. This is on my second one, so I have two more braids until I put another redeeming. All right, now time for the, another ring, second to last. And again, make sure it's facing the same, the right way. Again, go over, under, and then go under, over, under, through the back to the front. Cinch it. Pull side to side, make sure it's tight. Okay, time to put the last D ring. I'm actually recording video right now. Yeah. So the last D ring, I'm gonna go in and make sure it's facing the right way. And then you can also do the same exact thing you did before. I'm gonna go over, under, pull through. And you're gonna do under, over, under, pull through from the back to the front, cinch it up, and pull from left to right. Alright, and for this last part, what you want to do is bring the stitching through the D-ring through the front like that and this one through the front like this pull through the front and then open these two ones up so you want to pry them up a little bit like so so you get that through there Let's make a little extra room so got a nice bit of extra room in there Throw your strands underneath and under. There you go. So first one through. Get the second one. Also do the same thing. Bring it up. Get a nice little room in there for your paracord to go through. It should come right through. And your belt's done. All the way from your swivel hook nice tight braid all the way across and of course your D-rings and that last D-ring it's nice and snug once you pull these through and you're gonna cut and burn these off and then lay them flat so that way you can have your belt Go into any of these clasps like this. And of course, you can do other clasp systems. Uh, I'll show you some other examples that I have. But for now, that's basically all you have to do just make a paracord belt. So uh, thanks for watching and have a nice day.